video we will be solving a problem based on equations of motion. So here is the problem. A train starting from a stationary position and moving with uniform acceleration attains a speed of 36 km per hour in 10 minutes. Find the acceleration and the distance covered by the train. So here the train has started from a stationary position which means that the train has started from rest to attain a speed of 36 km per hour with a uniform acceleration at the end of 10 minutes. So with this information we need to find out what is that uniform acceleration that the train has attained and the distance covered by the train at the end of 10 minutes. Since the train has started from a stationary position its initial velocity we can take it as 0 meters per second since it has started from rest. So first let us note down whatever is given in the question. So here the time taken by the train is 10 minutes. Now here minutes is not the SI unit of time. So uh, in order to proceed towards the solution of the problem we need to first convert this unit of time to SI unit that is seconds. The next thing that has been provided is the initial velocity which is 0 meters per second and the velocity that the train has attained at the end of 10 minutes is 36 kilometers per hour. So our final velocity here becomes 36 kilometers per hour. Again kilometers per hour here is not an SI unit. So before proceeding towards the solution of the problem we need to get it converted to SI units. Now with this information we need to find out the what is the uniform acceleration that the train has attained. So here we need to find out the acceleration as well as the distance covered by train. So here we can we can uh, use displacement instead of distance. It is because we have considered that any object in this chapter has a motion which is a uniform motion in a straight line. So with this assumption there is no difference between the terms distance and displacement. So here we need to find out the displacement of the train at the end of 10 minutes. Now before proceeding towards the solution of the problem let us get these two non-SI units converted to SI. So we know that 1 minute equals 60 seconds. So here our 10 minutes will be equal to 10 multiplied by 60 which is 600 seconds. Again we know that 1 km per hour equals 5 by 18 meters per second. So 36 km per hour will be equal to 5 by 18 multiplied by 36 which is 10 meters per second. Now that we have both the things converted to SI we can proceed and solve the problem here. So first of all we will find the acceleration of the train and for that we will be using the first equation of motion which is V equals U plus AT. So here let us substitute all the values that is V, U, T and we don't know the value of A that is the acceleration here which we will be finding out here. So here A will be equal to V minus U by C, T. Here what we have done is we have taken this U to the other side and also this T to this side. So on doing that we have this expression which is A equals V minus U by T. Now with this expression we can directly find out the value of acceleration. So let's do that. Here the value of final velocity was 10 meters per second after converting it and initial velocity we have it to be 0 and the time taken was 600 seconds after converting 10 minutes to seconds. So with this on evaluating this we get the value of acceleration to be 0.016 meters per second square. So this is the value of acceleration of the train. Now we will be using the second equation of motion to find out the other thing that is the displacement of the train at the end of 10 minutes. So for, uh, here we will be using the second equation of motion which is s equals ut plus half at squared. So let us substitute all the values that is the values of u, t, a. a we have found out here which we will be substituting here in the second case. So s equals 0 multiplied by 600 plus half 
multiplied by 0 0.016 which is the acceleration multiplied by 600 squared and on evaluating this we get the answer to be 2880 meters which is 2880 meters so the displacement covered by the train at the end of 10 minutes will be 2880 meters which equals 2.88 kilometers so this brings us to the end of this video i hope this solution of this problem was understandable to you thanks for watching tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning